is the Naga People's Front on the verge of a split? That is the question that is arising right now. Things definitely do not seem right in the party with as many as seven assembly unit presidents resigning to join the ruling NDPP. Confirming the resignations, NPF spokesperson Achumbe Mokkikon told Northeast Life that those who have quit had defied the collective decision of the party and are under suspension. He added that the party was expecting them to tender their resignations as a fallout of the steps taken by the NPF after the unit presidents openly expressed their support to the NDPP's common Lok Sabha candidate. Kikon also rubbished reports of disintegration of the party, saying that the NPF has survived through thick and thin, even when there was not a single legislator representing the party in the Assembly. In the last uh, parliamentary election, the lone Lok Sabha constituency in Nagaland, the party have taken a collective decision to support a secular forces which means we will not set up a candidate and support the Congress candidate in Nagaland state. And accordingly, the party has issued a statement through our president that we all must support the Congress candidate. And uh, unfortunately, seven of our MLAs have defied the collective decision of the party and uh, they even waned uh, in the public that they will support the NDPP candidate in the last election. Now, after that, they followed what we are facing now is resignation of this, which you are asking now, the seven presidents, and also some of the constituencies resigning in bloc. For this party, we stand for principle. And therefore, whoever cannot stand by the principle of the party, the NBF, we cannot stop them.